What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm gonna bring you a video teaching you all about the Tree of Whispers, okay? The Whispers of the Dead, and just explain to you kind of how this works and some general tips and advice that I can give you. And then we're gonna follow this video up with a following video on how to use the Tree of Whispers as a powerful leveling strategy before you get to Capstone uh, Dungeon to get into World Tier 3. But we're gonna save that one for later. So. Tree of Whispers. What is the Tree of Whispers? The Tree of Whispers is the brand new bounty event or a bounty um, portion of the game that we used to have in Diablo 3. Now Tree of Whispers is acting as that bounty. So in order to unlock the Tree of Whispers, you have to finish the main campaign of the game. Okay, it does not matter if you finish it on World Tier 1 or World Tier 2. You just have to finish the, this main story, and as soon as you do, you unlock Tree of Whispers. So, once you unlock Tree of Whispers, you're going to see on your map all these little indications here. Now, mine are grayed out because I've already completed and got my, my filled up my Grim Favors, but you're going to see these little things all around the map, okay? They're going to be highlighted in red, which I'll show you after we do the turn-in. But you're going to see each one is a mission or a quest that you have to complete. So, for example, you're going to, uh, you're going to collect these things and it's going to give you one Grim Favor. You're going to do this one. It's going to give you three Grim Favor to harvest some stuff from enemies. Uh, then you have another one where you're going to clear a city uh, armory, which is going to give you a Grim Favor. And then you have dungeons, like the one we just did, a dungeon one. And those give five Grim Favors, okay? So... My best advice is to just do dungeons, but once you have all 10 Grim Favors, then they're going to gray out like you see here, and you're going to go to the Tree of Whispers for your turn-in, okay? I have 10. Once you get to the Tree of Whispers for your turn-in, you can click it, and you get to choose your reward, all right? These rewards, they're completely random each time you do a Bounty turn-in or a Tree of Whispers turn-in, so... It's going to be chest plates sometimes, amulets sometimes, gauntlets sometimes, etc. Now, I will tell you that as you advance in world tiers into world tier 4, you can get stuff that says greater collection of amulets, which is just even better loot or tiers of loot. So, in this case, I got a random assortment of gear. Now, you can pick whichever one you want. You get to pick and choose, and it's going to be that gear type. So, if I want gauntlets, it's going to give me gloves, gems, gold, and crafting materials. Each cash is going to give you gold gems and crafting materials the only difference is going to be what gear type that you want so for me i don't want amulets i guess amulets could be cool chest plates would be really sweet um i guess i'll take amulets and just go with it and you're going to do your turn in whispers of the dead torment you get a lot of bonus xp for this turn in okay now that you have your cash all you're going to do is right click open it and boom you're getting all this gear. All of this is uh, resources and crafting materials. Then you got your gems, right? You get a little bit of gold, not a lot. And then, of course, you get items, right? We get lucked out and got two sacred items, which is really cool. So let's go take a look. Earth skills deal more damage, which is great. And then critical strikes with core skills deal more damage. Super cool. Um, so that's, that's essentially how bounties work. Now that we've done the turn in... What happens is, is that they reset. And excuse me, they're pink and then the uh, some of them are, and then the dungeons are red. So you can see that now all of these highlight pink. They're always going to be on your map and then your dungeon is red. Okay, these are always going to be on here no matter what. As soon as you unlock the story. Now, the, the dungeons as well as the quest, these little side quests, do have a timer. You can see how it says it expires at 55 minutes. So once that timer is up... The Tree of Whispers resets everything, so now it can be another random dungeon or random quest somewhere else on the map, okay? So Tree of Whispers is a very, very good way to target farm some gear. If you need certain gear pieces, like if you really needed a chest, I could have took the chest piece there. Uh, the, the Tree of Whispers portal and waypoint and Tree of Whispers is always going to be here. As soon as you unlock it, you can automatically come here. You are all set to go, okay? Um, and it's really nice because it's almost like a an area where like you can't do anything. You can't even ride your horse. So it's a really cool area, just like a safe zone, kind of. But Tree of Whispers is a very, very powerful thing. Now, in another video, I'm going to talk about why it's so strong along with 
other means of exp gain for the capstone but just know that my biggest suggestion to you guys would be do the dungeons the dungeons is the fastest way to gain your grim favors you only have to complete two and then you can instantly turn in so this is the best way now if you're playing new characters that you've already unlocked the tree of whispers and you're starting a new character and you want to do tree of whispers yes you are going to have the the level problems right there the level scaling to whatever your character level is but in general you always want to do dungeons okay dungeons are just the best way you knock out two you spend 15 minutes knocking out two dungeons you turn them back in so the tree of whispers is a very very cool bounty mechanic in the game and i think it's awesome that we have this now instead of the old bounty system i think this is really cool because it keeps things fresh as far as like what dungeons you're doing what side quests in areas that you're going to be in on the map which is really cool and then you can get some that are like really special when they spawn inside of the hell tides which is really cool so then if you're coming into the hell tides and you want to complete these side quests so now you're doubling up right you're doubling up and you're getting your grim favor and completing these as well as uh, gaining the cinders in the hell tide so it's a really cool like double up but yeah tree of whispers is very very powerful guys it's a really really good way uh to level up your character and get gear that you need as well as getting all of the other resources for like upgrading gear crafting stuff adding sockets all those things because i know a lot of us after you unlock the map and you get a bunch of areas you're not spending too much time on your horse exploring the world so you're not gaining a whole lot of resources and this is a really powerful way to gain all those resources that you need so that is the tree of whispers guys i really do hope that this guide helps you out it's a really cool um element of the game and i absolutely enjoy it so like the video if you guys have had a good time here make sure to comment down below what do you guys think about the tree of whispers and then make sure to check out the other video where i talk about how to level and use this effectively to get ready for the capstone if you have not done it and post capstone going into world tier three so guys as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.